I shall leave you as you left me, as you left her, marooned for all eternity in the center of a dead planet. Buried alive. Buried alive. What's up, guys? Oh, yeah, it is officially our 100th review. Run 100. It doesn't make any sense to me. We started this channel out after um, the Rough Cuts had those auditions, obviously. And, uh, uh, it just that doesn't feel like it was very long ago, and, and now we have uh, 224 subscribers, and, it's, and we, now we're on 100th review. Uh, I didn't think it was going to get this far, and it has, so awesome. So today I didn't give myself a challenge, and the challenge is to try and review every uh, 11, uh, all 11 Star Trek movies uh, in uh, another 10 minutes. Uh, so hopefully I can do it, and I'm going to stop blabbering now, because I'm running out of time. Uh, so um, each movie will get about 30 seconds each, so let's do this. Mother! One. Star Trek uh, 1, also known as Star Trek The Motion Picture, came out in 1979, directed by Robert Weiss. It stars um, the original cast of the original TV show. Uh, this one hasn't really got the rewatch value of some of the other Star Trek movies. It, it's kind of like a bumpy start. Uh, it kind of feels like uh, a 2001 Space Odyssey copy. Um, but it comes with its good moments, so yeah. Star Trek Motion Picture gets 3 out of 5. Ooh. Star Trek True, The Wrath of Khan. Um, what I say about this movie that hasn't really already been said already. This movie is follows on from the episode from the original series called Space Seed, uh, where they find Khan, who's a super strong super being, and he starts taking control of the Enterprise to so they uh, maroon him on a dead planet. Um, and I uh, um, wasted too much time. Uh, basically, they run into Khan again, and shit kind of flies. Uh, and it involves the infamous quote by uh, Captain Kirk. Khan! Yeah, this is a classic, classic movie. I fucking love it. Uh, five out of five stars for me. Three! Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock continues straight after. Uh, follows on uh, right after where Rafa Khan uh, finishes. Um, I don't really explain this in the last couple of seconds, but uh, at the end of Rafa Khan, Spock dies. Um, and there's this whole thing in this movie about people think uh, Spock's, I think his parents, think that Spock's soul is in one of the crew members. Uh, and they're just trying to find Spock's body. It's all kind of weird, but um, Spock comes back to life because of the Genesis a device on the other planet which creates life and it brings him back to life. Um, this is all pretty really confusing, I'm rushing this, I, need, I really need to think about some kind of formula to this, but yeah, Search for Spock, Star Trek 3, um, uh, 4 out of 5, it's pretty good. 4! Star Trek 4, The Voyage Home, uh, I really, really, really like this one, I don't know what it is, um, it's kind of goofy, and it's kind of like a comedy film, basically, um, there's this weird kind of alien spaceship that wants to communicate with whales, uh, but in the future, whales are extinct, so the Enterprise crew go back in time to try and get the whales to communicate with these aliens to like, kind of save the world almost. So it's pretty much a fish out of water town of the Star Trek crew uh, kind of blending in with um, an old American society, and it has lots of uh, comedy moments. Aww. Star Trek 4, uh, 4 out of 5. It's a good movie, man. 5. Uh, Star Trek 5 The Final Frontier. I'm gonna put it quite simply. I fact, I don't, I don't, I don't like this movie. It sucked. Uh, this is when the curse started happening. That every uh, odd numbered Star Trek movie sucked, and every even one was okay. Uh, I agree. Uh, when Star Trek Five was sucked, every other uh, odd one was kind of crappy, and this one is no exception. I gave it a one out of five. Watch it if you want. I've only seen it once. I think I know what the plot is. Six. Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, uh, I like this one, it's really good, uh, it won an award for best science fiction film, I think, when it was released, uh, the plot is kind of, uh, a Klingon moon explodes and kind of fucks over the Klingon homeworld, so they're like, ah, oh, what the fuck, so they like have a go at Starfleet and everything kind of, sh like a shitstorm happens, it's cool, this is a good movie, uh, three and a half to four out of five, 
check out the undiscovered country. It'll kick your ass! It's also the last, um, well, not the last, but the last to start just the uh, original lineup. So let's move on to the next generation lineup, motherfucker! Engage. 